folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join us today back in Yorkshire where we've come for a walk around Scamondon Reservoir which is the reservoir that's at side of the M62 which is just behind me and is the highest motorway in England and you must keep apart two chevrons when you're driving down it apparently. Now all anyone will see from Sc of Scamondon Reservoir is a little bit of the reservoir and the top of that water tower there when you're going past it on the motorway but of course there's much more to it such as this little area here and this stone which uh, tells us that it was inaugurated by Queen Elizabeth II no less on the 14th of October 1971 so we're going to go for a walk around the loop of the reservoir now because there's some quite interesting little things around here and there's an audio trail that you can follow you know where you're scanning a QR code and it uh, tells you all about it so with, without further ado Let's carry on. I didn't even know this area was here with the hand presuming it was a flagpole at one time. This like Lucy's uh, had enough already. <laughs> Come on, let's go on. Right, Hot Potters, this is our first little uh, mistake we've made. We've just come down from that area there near Water Tower and we want to be above this underpass here. Because that's not the motorway, it's a little walkway that runs alongside it. And that's where we need to be. So we're going to have to crash through this fence here and go up that hill. Judging from this path, it looks like we're not the only ones to make this mistake. Well, let's do it, Mrs. H. Let's get over this fence. Eh? Bit of four-wheeling. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, we're on the right path now, after that little bit of a mistake there that we made. The reason I'm shouting is because we're right at the side of the hard shoulder of the M62, with just a little thin fence that's separating us. So it's a bit noisy here, especially with these lorries thundering past. So we're going to get off here as quickly as we can. Let's go. So we're leaving the motorway behind now and our first job is to get by the banks and give little Lucy a swim. Because she loves water, doesn't she, Mrs H? No. Come on, Lucy, don't go under there. Making her way under that little uh, raid shelter type walk where... Proper mooch of that dog, I don't know where she gets it from. No, me neither. Right, so we're going for a swim now, will Lucy? I think that's a yes. We haven't got to the water's edge yet, uh, disappointed Lucy a bit. Back there, there was somebody else down there with a the dog and although Lucy's all friendly, little Rosie's not. Typical Napoleon complex, should that be Napolina with it being a girl? Anyway, we're just making our way along now. It's uh, quite a warm day, isn't it, Mrs H? It is. And we've come across, this one's for you, this uh, Al, a gate post, the obligatory gate post with the all in there for the, the bar that would have gone across. That one's for you, Al. Robbo Outdoors, I believe it is, on Instagram. Got it right this time. Anyway, bit of a shout out though. Mrs H, one of our followers, will uh, carry on. Just look at that view, Hot Potters. All free as well. All you have to do is get yourself here. You've done your own steam even, steam, steam. And a uh, little bit of petrol money. It's gorgeous today. I think first time we came here, is it really windy? It was raining. It was raining, yeah. yeah. It's always raining in Yorkshire, so there's so many uh, reservoirs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why there are, you know, weathered people. Yeah. Middle of winter, out in shorts and t-shirts, and Yorkshire lot. That's it. That's it. Didn't you once say, say the reason all Yorkshire people are friendly and easy going? Because there's so many hills. Yeah, we're all tired. Too many hills to walk up. <laughs> Can't be bothered having an argument. Yeah. Well, it's too flat, you see, over in Lancashire. And... Well, that's why I row with everybody. I'm always on phone having a go at <laughs> some company or other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? That's why it brings me to Yorkshire so much. Calm me down. Calm me down. Also, if you're arguing with somebody on phone, you're not arguing with me, are you? There you go. That's uh... So we're sort of on the other side now, aren't we? We yeah. are. I mean, although it looks like we're about halfway around here, I don't think we are. 
and it sort of goes into like a triangle shape. Ish. Ish. Still can't get to the water. No, no, I don't say that was the best spot on that woman had. Oggy, ogging it. Come in here and ogging it. How dare these foreigners come here and hog it? These Lancashire lot. Ah, ah. Quickly correct yourself, let me see as we get shut down. <laughs> Racism. I think there's a church on this side, if I remember right. There right, is, I think there's a good story to it as well. Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, uh, oh the vicar got his congregation. Yeah. yeah. It's not what you'd expect, how we'd get them in. Now this area to my right apparently was once a, a medieval settlement called Stay Hills or Stay Hills, I think it's pronounced Stay Hills personally and it was first mentioned in the Wakefield Courts Rolls of 1324 by all accounts. It's amazing what, you, what, what knowledge I know isn't it Mrs H? Yeah, completely useful. It's amazing what I read on a signpost that has just come past. Now normally you can tell with these uh, medieval villages we lie at land, but because obviously there's so much shrubbery there because of time of year, you can't tell you'd need to look from Google Earth and you'd be able to see, you know, where it land lies and that, oh you know, yeah, there'd be an house there, yeah, that was a field. But yeah, people lived here once, long before the M62 was put here. Well, folks, we've just come up a little steep path to St Bartholomew's Church, which overlooks Scamondon Water. Now, that story I was telling you about regarding one of the former vicars, he decided the best way to expand his congregation was to get the local prize fighter, who was very well looked up to and revered in this area, to get him on board and get him into a church. And the prize fighter simply said to him, I'll fight thee for it, vicar. Uh, so, the vicar, he half expected the vicar to just back down and leave him alone, I should imagine. But anyway, in a scene out of uh, the eagle has landed, the vicar did fight him. Unfortunately for the uh, prize fighter, he didn't know as the vicar had been in the Royal Navy and was a boxer, Queensbury rules and all that. And before he knew what would hit him, he was on his backside. Fair play to the prize fighter, he just looked up at him and he said, Fair play to me, vicar, that's down me. I'll come to the church. And he did do for the next 30 years, and he sort of encouraged, encouraged other people to do the same. As a little bit of a running joke between uh, the vicar and the prize fighter, he used to allow them to pass pots of ale along the pews during their uh, sermons, and he used to just wink when they were doing that. Now, this spire used to be taller than that. When the final year of uh, that vicar's tenature, there was some strong winds blowing across the valley, and it blew it down, and it went crashing through the roof. They decided never to rebuild it as tall and they just put that bit of a slated bit on the top, that pointy bit. And uh, that's the story of this, uh, this church. We're going we're gonna to push on now along them steps and through that gate and uh, we should be able to get back round and down to the sailing club, which used to be the vicarage to this uh, place. For a distance away, that vicarage though, I don't fancy walking that every day. But like I said back there, the Yorkshire people, the fit and strong. Not like us Lancastrians, you see, we, we'd get a motor car to it, wouldn't we? Or we'd go by a bike. Right, we've just come through the woods there from the back of that church, St Bartholomew's. Below us is the sailing club, and I believe that building there that you can just see poking out there, just to one side, that would have been the vicarage. Now, we may have gone a little bit wrong here, as we usually do. This is a little bit of an extra bonus walk type of thing. Because uh, we're heading towards Dean Ed Reservoir here, which I didn't want to go up as far. So with a bit of luck, it will cut down. But yeah, this is a different view of it. Like I said, it's a sort of triangular shape. Irregular triangle, if you like. Quite loud, you can hear them, can't you? Yeah, the sailors shouting at each other. As long as it's not help, like that uh, old public information film from the 70s, which you'll not remember, Mrs H. Right then, let's uh, let's head down on that note. The bit of look, this should die out in a bit. Send mountain rescue. <laughs> well, back on a normal path, a proper path, an official one. 
not one of Mrs H's crashy through here type of paths. Or should that be Mr H's crashy through paths? Well, we're going to make our way along here now. We're going to sort of have to go round this area. We can't just cut straight over. So we're going to head back over to Dean Ed Reservoir, which is over in that direction. I've seen a little bit of smoke coming up from over there, Mrs H. I think they're having a barbecue. Do you think we should gate crash it and see if they've got a burger or something for us? Yes, definitely. Right, we'll do that then. <laughs> Finally, we've got to the backside of Scammondon Water. I've been promising Lisa this uh, swim all the way around, haven't I? I feel like a bad owner now. So I don't think we're going to get to the swimming part. <laughs> no, it's, uh, well, there's sailing clubs up here and you don't know how much of it they actually have, although Lucy's not bothering. She's off that little speck, that little black speck in distance. Should we risk it? Should we go down and follow her? Well, that woman's got her dogs over there, so... Why not? What's they can do is tell us to go away. If they can tell Lucy to get out of water and I'll listen. Well, she won't listen to her own as will she? No. And as you can see, there's Lucy enjoying a promised swim. Even you... Bob's is in. Yeah, yeah, he and cheese. Getting a bit warm. I mean, what you can tell from this point, if you just have a scan round, this is it, you can see just how low this reservoir is. You know, I believe they've uh, got a problem, haven't they, with filling them? You know, even when we're getting a lot of rain. They're not as high as they normally are. But we're going to stay here for a little bit and let Lucy have a, a well-earned swim. Cooler down, you see, Labradors, they get very hot. Very easily, big thick coats. Doesn't look it, but she's got a double coat on there. And the colour of her. And these days, they're no good being a Labrador, is it, Lucy? So we're going to let her enjoy a swim and little and love a little dig about. As she usually does. And then we'll, uh, we'll push on towards that sailing club and make our way around because I believe there's like an outdoor centre there now which started off life as a farmhouse. Now I've seen people enjoy, you know, water, albeit man-made water, isn't it really? Yeah. It is. You know. It's amazing though, I mean we're not that far away from the motorway, you can't hear the cars here. No you can't. You can't, it's like a natural buffer thing, isn't it? It is. Lucy's back in. Yeah. Yeah. Just for that way, I don't fancy ending up in that mud. Because, of course, we've got perfect footwear on again for these uh, sort of walks. Crocs and trainers. Don't matter, you can always wash your feet. It takes forever to dry shoes. Yeah, here's the sailing club now. Yeah, lovely day here. A lot different than last time I was here. Yeah. So that house there was originally the vicarage. That's where the vicar would have lived. And this church, I think you can just see the little spire of it just sticking up there where we was earlier. So as you can see it was a fur walk and we'd have to come down there and sort of work his way around and then up. Well, I didn't have to do that every day or twice a day. I think if you'd left your, your cigarettes or something over in church, your lighter, it'd have stopped there till next time, wouldn't it? Right, we'll carry on. Lucy's just coming up here. In for another swim. Just loves water, that dog, doesn't she? She does. Well, with a bit of luck, we can now get on this path here and start heading up slowly towards the car park. It's a Mr H walk, it's got the hill at the end. No comments on that one. Yeah, because you know I'm right. Ince logic for today. What's that? When we're climbing up a hill, what's the saying? When you get to the top, you don't need to go up any further. There we go, that's today's 
installment of Ince Logic. Ince Logic number 443. <laughs> Now this wasn't here last time I was here, was it, Mrs. H? It wasn't. So this is a new addition. I suppose the idea is it's. Uh... No, I thought I thought it would have been a map, but it's not, is it? No. They're quite nice. I think there's some on the other side as well. Well, we're back at the car park now. It's been a good walk around uh, Scammerdon Water. Hopefully you've enjoyed it with us on this glorious day. I think a nice screams in order, Mrs H, from somewhere. She's nodding her head though, so... Uh, Blackpool? Blackpool, yeah. That sounds like a good idea to me. So, we're going to get back in the car now. We're going to give the dogs a drink. We're going to have a drink ourselves and uh, get off back home for that ice cream. So, until the next time, from myself, from Mrs H and the girls, who are absolutely cream crackered. It's bye bye for now.